What is up, everyone? I'm the comic outlaw, Jack Slater. You know my name. I claim the fame. If you're one of the few dedicated people to watch this channel and uh, hope it expands and we uh, expand the outlaw nation. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to be talking about Mark Spencer, a.k.a. the Moon Knight, in a Marvel Legends toy review. Check it out. Now, this guy has had many aliases, Stephen Grant, Jake Lockley, the Fist of whatever, and Mr. Knight. Uh, he, this is like different personalities, and we'll kind of go over this. Uh, Stephen Grant was his rich personality. Jake was his cab driver personality. Uh, um, this guy has been um, credited with being kind of like a Batman knockoff. Yeah. When I was reading him, he was Mark Spencer. I mean, he was... Who he was I guess he had a multiple personality syndrome on and off um, he made a deal with the God he made a deal with an Egyptian God a moon God and basically he was able to don the shroud and become the hero known as Moon Knight but the interesting thing was I think the guy's name was Kofu is his powers kind of waxed and waned and changed over the years as did his personality depending on who was actually in the driver's seat. Like I said, um, he kind of had different personalities and sometimes the creature would take over him. Like I said, um, I remember a more streamlined Moon Knight where it was one dude and his ass kicking exploits. You know what I'm saying? They're doing a show on him. I guess he's extremely violent in this one. Uh, I saw the previews. Uh, I, I kind of want to see it. I'm actually interested in it. I wear a white costume. That way I can see the blood. You know, they're really building him as an anti-hero. And I, he was, to a lot of degrees. I remember there was a point, because now he's just like martial arts, um, moon orangs, staff, you know, all that stuff. I remember there was a point where he um, his strength would depend on the size of the moon. Like, if it was a full moon, he had, like, Spider-Man strength. You know, like I said, his powers have changed and waxed and waned as all do, as all superheroes do. I remember when Spider-Man had uh, cosmic power. Okay, look that shit up. It was amazing. I remember when the Hulk had gray skin and was known as Joe Fix-It. And then, again, one of my other favorite iterations. I remember when Wolverine had bone claws and no nose, which kind of sucked ass. But like I said, heroes go through changes. I remember a time when Superman was blue and then split into two, and he was an energy being, then split into another red energy being with two distinct different personalities. Yeah, that happened too. So, like I said, superheroes change, and as did Moon Knight, and this is interesting, I think the god kind of cider shattered his psyche, and that's why he had these different personality changes. One, Grant was the, the millionaire, the Jack was a cab driver, and they, they kind of had different lives, uh, different ways to go about the superhero biz, but it was all Moon Knight. And personally, I do like the black hood a little bit more. Makes it more foreboding. Check it out. Uh, this one does not come in a set. This isn't a Build-A-Toy. It it's kind of nice, all right, when Marvel just releases one toy. And they give you a lot of like cool little gizmos and stuff like that. I think that's sometimes better than a big figure. Um, you know, because sometimes you just want one toy and you, you don't want the piece. Or sometimes you want all the pieces, but all the action figures kind of like, Ugh. So it's just kind of nice that they just did this as a one shot. I know there's some people out there that like collecting that stuff. You know, it's cool. But it's just kind of nice to have this. Yeah, I'll get off my soapbox. And there's always the key to the city. And I really don't think that Moon Knight's so much of a Batman knockoff because his origin is different. He was an archaeologist that got his powers from an Egyptian god. Well, they've changed it a few times, but he basically, you know. And yes, he has money, and yes. But how else are you going to pay for all this shit? I mean, Spider-Man actually goes over that very well. You know, when you have no money, it sucks. Read Superior Spider-Man. When Dr. Octopus was in Peter's head, he explained it perfectly. 
Man. All right, see this thing just pops right out. And it does. Like I said, I always thought Moon Knight was his own character. I mean, yes, he kind of has the Batman prototype. But then again, wasn't Batman the prototype of the Shadow and Zaro? I mean, in almost every uh, Batman iteration, he comes from either the Mask of Zaro, the Mark of Zaro. I talked about this in a Zaro episode that I did a long, long time ago when this channel was in its infancy. All right, let's pop this out. Let's see. I noticed we got plastic everywhere. Now, they do have the plastic capes, but they're a pain in the ass to pull out. Like, this is one thing that I don't like that they've been doing. You have to pull the plastic cape out through this little, little hole, and sometimes it damages the cape. Let's check out Moon Knight first. Here he is in his all white costume. That way he can see the blood. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man, that, that was just such an interesting quote. I was like, hmm. Um, it's a pretty good figure. Poses very well. Uh, like I said, the plastic capes aren't that bad. I wish they go back to cloth, but hey. Eh, not a bad figure. He comes with an assortment of weapons and an alternate head. And he's actually known for his staff for just beating the crap out of people. Batman doesn't really carry his staff. That's more of a Robin thing. And that's Tim Drake. See, as you can see, this is his staff right here, and he does have the alternate hands. That way, you guys can check him out, so he can hold the staff and the alternate head. We'll just pop that out so you guys can check him out. Now, this is the one I do like. Like I said, it's kind of interesting to have the all white and that black hood. It looks more foreboding. You know what I mean? It gives him a little more edge. But I guess this iteration of Moon Knight loves to see the blood. So I guess he would like to see the crimson on his face. Like, that is one hell of a washing bill, if you think about it. They actually did talk about that in Deadpool. You know how hard it is to get blood off of white clothes? Believe me, I know. All right. And uh, we got these little Moonerangs. That's what I call them. And, uh, man, they, they're stuck on there. All right, they're taped up. Da, da, da. You guys can check it out. This is a big one. I guess this is probably one of the ones that he uses when he's whooping ass, you know, close, personal. That way he has a way of slicing them. And uh, being a fan of bladed weapons and up close uh, personal combat, I, I do enjoy that. And, uh, of course, he has the smaller ones in this uh, little set here. Pull one out real quick. That way you can see. And these ones are really tiny. Uh, I'm probably not going to have these on display. Matter of fact, I don't want to pop it out because uh, I don't want to lose it. Check it out. Like the little small ones that he throws. So yes, there's a difference between him. And yes, like Batman, he has the power of money. But as does Tony Stark. As does Doctor Doom. And the power of money is a great thing to have. And I've said this before, if you don't think money can't buy happiness, then give me a hundred bucks and watch me smile. For real. So yeah, he's well financed. Yeah, he's able to buy his goods. Yeah, he buys himself the best armor. And who wouldn't? Who wouldn't in that situation? But yes, this is my Moon Knight review. I do want to see the series. If I still, if I uh, get a hold of that, I'll be doing a review on it. This is actually a pretty cool character. I'm looking forward to putting him in my. Uh, I have this nice miscellaneous section where I have like Deathlock and uh, Vince Astro from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, you guys don't know who that is. I might be covering one of the big issues they did. The original Guardians of the Galaxy was a lot different from what it is now. A lot different. But still very cool. This is a very cool action figure. I was very happy when I got it. I'm very pleased with it. It has a lot of the bells and whistles that like a lot of the one the piece set toys don't. Like it comes with a few alternate hands and a mask, but it's nice that it comes with a wide array of weapons, you know, head change, head piece. And this is just a classic toy, you know. Really nostalgia. It gives you that nineties feel because Moon Knight kinda had like a, a nice turn in the nineties. 
and this is just a good toy to have. I'm glad it's in my collection. And this is Moon Knight, a character with multiple personalities, multiple facets. I would um, check him out. He was actually interesting as Mr. Knight, who wore a white mask and a suit. Like I said, his personalities are strange. To say the the, the fists of Kofu were... He was sort of a bad guy. Like, you, you really got to check it out. He's not Batman. He's his own character. Granted, he's had a few personality issues, but a rose by any other name or a blade by any other name would stab and slice just as quick. <laughs> and you know who I am. I'm the comic outlaw. Spread the word, man. Subscribe, like. Smash that button. And as always, I will catch you on the flip side.